Greetings, human intellects of this world. We will continue our journey in your medieval ages, and exploring the ideas of a human regarding the explanation of phenomena. His name is William of Ockham. As we have seen, Duns Scotus was concerned with highlighting God's omnipotence, and, here, William of Ockham agreed. The emphasis on God's omnipotence is considerably more evident in William of Ockham's writings. Ockham claimed that God is capable of doing whatever that is possible without contradiction. He agreed with Duns Scotus that the scientist can only establish actitudinal connections between phenomena by induction. He developed an inductive technique of difference, the result of which simply affirms the possibility for causal association. Specifically, comparing two instances, one when the effect is there, and another where it is not, is the core of Occam's technique. If it can be demonstrated that there is a situation present, when the effect is present, and absent, when the effect is absent, as shown in the following table, then, the investigator is entitled to conclude that circumstance C can be the cause of effect E. Occam maintained that, in the ideal case, knowledge of an aptitudinal union can be established on the basis of just one observed association. He noted, though, that in such a case one would have to be certain that all other possible causes of the effect in question are absent. He observed, but in practice it is difficult to determine whether two sets of circumstances differ in one respect only. For that reason, he urged that numerous cases be investigated in order to minimize the possibility that some unrecognized factor is responsible for the occurrence of the effect. According to Occam, knowledge of an aptitudinal union can, in the ideal scenario, be acquired on the basis of just one observed association. However, he pointed out that in this scenario, it would be necessary to be assured that all other potential causes of the effect in issue are not present. His intellect thought that it would be challenging to tell whether two sets of circumstances are unique in just one way, in practice. In order to reduce the likelihood that some unknown factor is to blame for the occurrence of the effect, he advocated the investigation of several cases. Occam, drew attention to the need for the schema to include a list of all the factors that are causally significant to the occurrence of P. If there is a condition X that is present in instance 1, but absent in instance 2, then X may be the cause of P rather than A. However, your empirical research is not discouraged by the probability that some factor, such as X, is not included in the list, since you may discover it in the process of the examination of events. After all, you human, may increase the number of examples, to observe that the occurrence of P, is caused by it, or some other factor. But, the preoccupation with the idea, that God, can at any point suspend the causal link, by preventing P, despite the presence of the factor that produces it, is something that greatly discourages your empirical research.